And India, the land of dreams and innovation, is about to embark on an interstellar journey like never before. Space VIP, the US-based space ex expedition company, is all set to enter Indian markets next month. But you can be a space explorer too. All you need is a sense of adventure and, well, a healthy bank balance. Watch this report to know more on the details. Take a look. Three, two, one. Imagine a world where the cosmos is your playground, where the stars are your neighbors, and where adventure knows no bounds. Guess what? Your dreams are about to become reality. Space VIP, a space expedition company based in New York, is on a mission to nurture curiosity about the cosmos and provide a deeper understanding of space to all. Now, you might be thinking, space travel is for astronauts, right? Well, think again. Even you can embark on an interstellar journey. A journey that will have all features that you can think of, including luxurious accommodations, along with unparalleled views of the cosmos. Soon, you may also visit the International Space Station, all you need is a deep interest in space and a high net worth. So, what's on the menu? The company will offer 11 distinct space travel programs. And the best part? You can complete them in a single day with minimal training. Get ready, folks. The countdown to your epic space adventure has begun. Are you ready to blast off for a space visit? Buckle up because the universe is calling and it's time to answer. Bureau Report, we on Wild is One. And for more insights, so we are now being joined by Gyanan Gandhi Vasudevan, Padma Shri Awardee and pioneer of rocket technology in India. Quality and Reliability Director at Indian Space Research Organization and also Senior Vice President of Propulsion at Skyroot Aerospace. And she's joining us live from Hyderabad. Thank you so much for joining us on Beyond. Good morning. Right, sir. Now, what does the entry of foreign space tourism companies in India mean for the nascent sector in India? Well, ISTRO earlier said that uh, the space... To to tourism program in India is like a dream and it has ensured that it will soon become a reality. Well, it will become soon, it will become a reality. Now, uh, everybody wants to go above and see the earth, how beautiful it is. And uh, we, in Mother Earth, we have beautiful places. So now people want to go above and see the whole earth. It will become reality. Only point is, uh, uh, we have to like aircraft. Mm -hmm. The rocket has to be more reliable and it has to cost effective and uh, it should be available for everyone. And uh, there is no, no problem whether it is foreign or uh, India or anyone can come forward and we start with the tourism at the earliest. And we are also in the race, India also, definitely we will also be there. Right, Mr. Vasudevan. Now, what is the potential for space tourism in India and what are the opportunities for India's space startups in this regard? Sure. We are also working uh, on this regard and we want to develop uh, environment-friendly propellants like uh, liquid oxygen and methane so that it will not harm any tourist or anything and it will not create any issue. And we want to be more uh, uh, reliable, not only reliable, it should be very cheap. Why we said uh, cheap, cheap is uh, it has to be uh, taken. We are planning to take, uh, re receive back the boosters as well as the sustainer so that the cost will be less. So we started already working on that uh, area. One is clean propellant, second is more reliable. Third is, we have to recover the system and reuse it like aircraft. So maybe it is very difficult to use like an aircraft because here the temperature is so high. Maybe at least minimum 50 times we are planning to use the boosters so that the cost will be less. 
it will be very soon maybe in another 10 years india also can have a, our own vehicle to take the people for the tourists but mr vasudevan my last question to you what are some of the risks that are involved when it comes to space tourism well uh, you, all, uh, you know that uh, rocketry is uh, everywhere uh, uh, you know it should be 100% uh, reliable we cannot take back and repair and go mm. so the reliability is the most important thing so when you design the for the <coughs> for tourism we should have uh, more redundant systems as well as robot uh, system to be taken so that it will not uh, fail in future uh definitely the system will improve and we will have a very good uh, uh, a system to take the people about 300 km or 250 km to see the earth and you can come back in a day that will be very soon right thank you mr vasudevan for your insights and thank the sky you. explorers mumbai for organizing this very insightful chat thanks very much thank you thank you very much